Hi everyone, I am Gautam, I am physics faculty. This video what I am making is for 10th class completed students who are aiming for NEET or IIT JE. So as per my physics subject concern, what I want to give information is the physics subject is very easy. But you may be hearing about it is a tough task for competitive exams. Is it true? I want to give the answer for that. So why the people are feeling it is a tough means because of not having proper plan before joining the intermediate and after joining the intermediate or CBSC plus one, whatever it may be. So inter inter that is before what we have to do before joining inter after joining inter what we have to take care that i'm going to discuss now before joining intermediate that is immediately after 10th completion you will be having a lot of time to join the college before joining the college what you have to check it out and what you have to learn that is i'm going to discuss now First, before. So, before joining inter, you have to be very good in tables. Tables. Tables are on ah, school before fifth class, I studied, sir, like that. But now you have to be very perfect in the tables. That is from two table to 20th table up to 2020s. Like that, if you learn all the tables, and you can answer in a quick any calculation then that will be very much useful because actually when you observe the competitive exam you will be having a very less time to answer the questions within the short time you want to answer the question means you need a fast calculation so that you can gain if you are good in the tables Secondly, the thing what you have to get command is about uh, trigonometry, trigonometry. In maths, in 10th class, you are having basic trigonometry. So trigonometry, all the formulas and everything, you have to become perfect. And again, you have to be perfect with uh, geometry, geometry. And you have to be perfect with uh, basic uh, Logger thumbs, logger thumbs, logger thumbs. These are the things necessary for physics. That means before joining inter, if you learn tables, very good. That means in this holidays period, you can learn tables, then trigonometry, then geometry, and logger thumbs. If you are very perfect with these things in mass, that will be very much useful for physics. These things must and should. And one more thing is, that is uh, uh, when you join intermediate, when you join in intermediate, you will have to face the logical problems, logical problems. So for that, you need to develop the logics. That is logical thinking. Definitely I can say, logical thinking will not be acquired within a day or five days or ten days or one month we can't acquire it is a continuous process logical thinking means if you have to go for different types of puzzles for example you can do pseudo course by learning pseudo course that means you are doing a pseudo course per day like that continuous process if you are doing you will be getting the Quick reaction power, quick reaction power, that is advantage. Not only pseudo course, this is one of the example. You can do the puzzles like that. That logical thinking must be there after intermediate. If you are on to do some problems in physics along with the mathematical calculations, we also require, we also require logical thinking. That is very important for physics. So before joining intermediate, you concentrate on tables, trigonometry, geometry, logarithms, and logical thinking. 
दीज विल हेल्प यू ए लॉर्ड दीज विल हेल्प यू ए लॉर्ड वेन यू ज्वाइन इन टैब सो डोंट वेस्ट your holidays after 10th class and you please concentrate on these areas definitely they will give you a good result when you join inter now this is the one session before joining inter what you have to do now after joining intermediate what you have to do means actually after joining intermediate in your first year that we will be having the three important chapters that is a motion in a straight line motion in a straight line and this is the first one that is actually syllabus point of view in cbsc it is a third chapter and fourth one motion in a plane this is the numbers what i am writing according to the cbsc syllabus according cbsc syllabus this is a third chapter and motion in a plane it is the fourth chapter and one more second chapter also let me write units and measurements we can write it as units and measurements so these are three chapters according to the textbook i have written numbers here cbsc or state textbook no problem anything is good so here yeah, two three four second chapter units and measurements third chapter motion in a straight line fourth chapter motion in a plane if you are very good in these three chapters then your intermediate will become very easy at the starting joining itself they will be dealing with these three chapters so whenever you join intermediate initially you have to be very strong that means uh, you have to concentrate more and you have to do the lot of work in this one do as much as possible do number of problems here in this chapter units and measurements it is connected to total two year syllabus units measurements every all the chapters are connected first year or second year whatever it may be it is connected with units and measurements secondary motion in a straight line in this chapter you will develop problematic approach how to handle a problem that you will develop in motion in straight line motion in straight line you will develop problematic approach the third one motion in a plane this chapter you will be acquiring the vector knowledge vector knowledge because vector means direction in simple language so i don't want to give the definitions and everything i'm just giving information so the physics subject itself is connected with uh, units and a problematic approach as well as the direction so if you are good with these three chapters these three chapters are connected to the entire two year syllabus indirectly and directly they are connected to total two years of your inter syllabus so what i suggest to people is you please uh, make perfect this one and do as much as uh, possible the work from these three chapters once you become strong then automatically your inter will be in a very smooth way and uh, you can acquire very good result in competitive exams and no student says physics is tough if you follow these things and additional to this one we have to learn that is inter student means they will be by pc as well as mpc general okay cec hcc other groups are also there i am discussing about mpc and by pc students so they has to concentrate on differentiations differentiations and integration these two things are related to maths differentiation integration related to maths subjects in inter mpc people in inter first year you will get differentiation and inter second year you will get integration but these two topics are required for physics uh, from the uh, for motion straight line chapter onwards you need these two things so no need to worry beta the physics faculty in any college generally 
they will start with these differentiation and integration basics itself they will be teaching at the starting first they will teach those two things what i am saying is general by pc students you don't leave this differentiation and integration you don't think that is a mpc students work i no need to do don't think like that differentiation and integration is not only for mpc for by pc also because from this chapter motion straight line onwards we are using differentiation and integration it is a very easy it is a very easy if you follow from starting so when you join in intermediate starting when they tell the introduction during introduction itself they will teach these two parts you concentrate on these two parts don't leave these are related to maths these two topics are related to maths so these two things are also if you learn well along with these three chapters then definitely you will score the best beta don't forget these things before what i wrote is table trigonometry geometry logarithms and logical thinking logical thinking is a continuous process so be going on doing some puzzles every day at least one puzzle small puzzle or big puzzle doesn't matter easy puzzle no problem but do one puzzle don't leave beta that because we can't all up in a day or two days and these after joining in inter you have to concentrate what chapters in for your stair means units and measurements motion straight line motion plane so these three chapters you are very perfect no doubt you will be scoring the maximum and along in that uh, we have to also prepare differentiation and integration so any student uh, if you can follow this one definitely i'm saying you will achieve that's all is a final thing so i think you understood what you have to do in joining inter how to handle the physics thank you beta thank you everyone so please follow this one thank you very much